Hey everyone, Depressed Dior here with more uh, Langster Mobile Apex. Uh, I think it's what, season four? I lost count a while ago. So, um, I replaced Yulia with Sri Lanka, um, which honestly was not the best decision. Because um, Yulia, even though like, she tends to get banned a lot, uh, and my recent uh, performance with her hasn't been great, um, she's just really, really useful. So, especially in the in in situations where she can actually do her job, like tank bust or, you know, just off heal. Um, so, literally a few minutes before recording this, um, I went ahead and uh, dropped Listel and replaced her with Yulia. Um, I know Listel is like one of the best characters for for uh, Apex, but in most situations, I don't really, I usually don't have opportunities to use her. Um, Usually because I get killed or screwed over it's in uh, some other form or fashion before I can even take advantage of her uh, anti-heal stuff. So, yeah. That is going to be what I'm going to be doing in the future. So I'll replace Lestel with uh, U uh, Yulia. I'm still going to keep Sholinka. I haven't really had a chance to use her. Um, simply because a lot of my opponents are, uh, tend to use Yusuke, who's holy. Um, and I tend to be favoring skeletons over uh, sword infantry at the moment because my sword infantry training is not the best right now. Um, still, I think I'll, I still will like to try her in the future, but for right now, um, I'm kind of just doing what I can. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. Um, so this box is, I mean, honestly, it's a little all over the place, but a lot of the focus, there's at least three summoners here and a use game. Uh, a few assassins, three tanks, uh, the standard three heal, one deedlet setup, uh, and then a, a Matthew, which I'm guessing is just to buff certain characters, but I'm not exactly sure what. Um, oh, actually, the other reason for Matthew is because Matthew has a summon, um, which will become very clear in a second. So they banned my Zerida, not surprised, I banned their juggler. I would like to ban something other than juggler, but juggler's freaking beast shock is just that annoying especially with that teleport b shock he now has i just like i can't afford having my tank being completely shut down and have all my characters lose their mobility it just won't work for me um, so they pick landius of course no surprise there um that's the other reason why i haven't been able to use a sholinka as much i'm not sure if she can take on landius effectively uh mystery knight does pretty well against landius though um i went ahead and banned both their assassin i banned their primary assassins um because I don't want to deal with them, so no oh, no Omega, no uh, Zerida. Um, I went ahead and banned their Deedlet and their... Um, uh, do, 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 do. Her name suddenly... Oh, TRS. Uh, I banned their Deedlet and TRS mainly to force them to pick a healer for their next pick. Um, I didn't want them... I did not want to risk him getting a, a Deedlet on top of a Yusuke, since Yusuke can also time faction buff. So that was kind of the safest thing because there's a bunch of things i want to ban right now <laughs> so i'm trying to force force uh my opponent to make uh, certain picks before I, so i can have more opportunities to ban what i want to ban um no surprise here my opponent went straight for my faction buffers since i only have a total of four right now and it's very easy to ban three of them um so i hand grabbed rachel so i could at least have a gospel buff um went hand grabbed angelina just for some uh aoe sh uh uh, sniping shenanigans, and uh, I went ahead and banned uh, their other assassin and took care of uh, Luna. Uh, went ahead and grabbed uh, uh, Sophia, uh, mainly for the uh, the rewind, uh, so I could get rid of cooldowns. Uh, Sophia is kind of my weakest healer; her stats aren't the best, um, but I do hope. But I think sometime during the summer, or not summer, like fall, I think um, she'll eventually get her uh, unique uh, armor. And that will, I, th I think it's armor, but essentially it, it greatly buffs her passive ability where she applies buffs whenever she heals people. And uh, that essentially will make her into a pseudo uh, half faction buffer, which I definitely need every sort of buff I can get in this in this box right now. Uh, went ahead and grab Claret. Um, I Biggest issue with this, this setup here is I don't have, I only have one gospel. Um, my faction buff only applies to my healer and my tank, which it, it's something at least. Um, I went ahead and left them with Bozel, because usually my opponent will always pick Bozel if left with a Bozel, and I'm completely fine with dealing with a Bozel. Um, it wasn't until after uh, we kind of start this that I realized that my opponent is all in on Yusuke right now. 
pretty much as you can see here, uh, summon, summon, summon. So all some uh, three summoners, all probably uh, designed to be sacrificed for Yusuke to get all of his fancy fancy buffs from his passive. So we'll we'll see if we can actually tank it. Um, it can do a lot of damage, but so far the track record for Yusuke versus Freya has not been the best. At least not the best for Yusuke. Um, Landius is nothing special. Uh, Yusuke did not bring a faction buff this time. I believe he gets buffed by uh, Matthew here. Um, Gale, which is always annoying, 25% chance that he'll get an extra action. And that's about it. Uh, Bozel did not take any... Um, he didn't take a faction buff. He's pure... Uh, status, uh, status effects, sleep, and summons. Alright, uh, nothing too special with the setup here. Angelina is still the same as last time. Same for Claret. Uh, Rachel's carrying a gospel buff. Sophia has her standard heals with rewind. And then Freya has her faction buff and standard physical defense stuff. I'm not too concerned about any sort of magic damage, as the only magic damage is really Bozel and I guess Liana in the pinch. So at this point, I was like, alright, they're all in on Yusuke, I have to survive Yusuke. If I can survive Yusuke, it's, the rest of it's not that big of a deal. But as you can see, it doesn't matter who does the killing. As long as an ally dies, that's enough to trigger Yusuke's uh, fancy uh, buffs as well as the Mimir's hammer. So really, all instead of just having me kill the, the, the summons, all they have to do is just throw their summon into the poison mist, and that'll be enough to trigger Yusuke's buffs. So, uh, I fully expect that to be the plan. I went ahead and gospel buffed, um, Angelina, simply because I'm going to be attacking with her first. Claret's just kind of there to apply some pressure. Uh, Matthew went ahead and engaged with his, um, with his summon, which actually is a sword, is his sword infantry, so it can actually do some pretty good damage to, to um, spears, as you can see there. And Sophia's heals are not super strong, so I mean the good news is her buff does provide like 30% defense, so that's really good for Freya at least. In fact, right now, yeah, she's over a thousand defense right now. Yeah, 30% de uh, defense. The only thing that's annoying about this uh, passive um, buff is it does overwrite um, faction buffs, which last longer. But as long as you keep on casting spells on her, it's not a big deal. Alright, so I went ahead and pushed in. Um, not because I expect to actually get anything out of this. Um, I'm just wanting to push back a little bit, apply a little bit of pressure. Uh, any freezing I get from this is going to be negated by Liana because she hasn't she hasn't had an action yet. So literally just me to throw this out there and then I can apply rewind to to uh, cast it again later. It does keep uh, Bozel out of the mix a little bit longer, which is always good. So as always, summons act it after the summoner. I don't know, yeah, I don't know what the spell was for, but it was done. <laughs> so Bozel moved in, Bozel summoned, acted, stayed the mist to get killed, gave, gave all the buffs to uh, Yusuke, and now he has the expanded range. So yeah, pretty good damage. And deep, uh, now he, she has anti-heal active at the moment. So yeah, I was not ex like once I got hit by the um, the attack by Yusuke, I was not expect. I, I was like, all right, I have to do something. I'll try to stop Yusuke. If I can stop Yusuke, that would be great. But I was not expecting it to happen. Uh, but it worked out. Um, so Claret had no faction buffs. Yusuke had every possible buff at the at that point. Yeah. So full faction buff uh, heals thirty percent after uh, of damage after combat. Deals additional 30 uh, only when attacking, though. Um, all stats increase by 10, uh, except for HP by 10%. Yeah, and then command with an additional plus uh, attack and int increase as well. 
And uh, yeah, still was able to um, knock it out. Uh, the low morale was counteracted somewhat by me moving because I get a 10% every block I move, or sorry, 5% uh, every uh, block I move um, to help mitigate that. And of course the fixed damage is probably useful too. But yeah, at this point all those summons now don't matter. Uh, Earthquake surprisingly did not kill Freya. Uh, she has about 100 something HP right now. Go ahead and kill the summon at this point because it's just going to run up and do AoEs next. Unfortunately I can't really heal uh, Freya at all because she's completely the, the debuff that Yusuke applied and can't be dispelled in the last two rounds. So I was like, alright, I'll just get her out of danger for now. Uh, Gale procced, unfortunately, uh, so able to get, go ahead and zero in on Claret there. Still did some damage back to um, to Matthew though, so that kind of worked out. Went ahead and did rewind. This will, um, at this point, uh, Angelina's uh, AoE is at one, uh, one turn left of cooldown, and she has, um, was it Tidal Surge? Yep, Tidal Surge, which will give her an extra action, which will cycle her deep, uh, her uh, cooldowns and give her the ability to do this AoE. So this will push them away from the tank. I manage to freeze Bozal in the, in the process, and I can go straight for their healer. And at this point, he gave up. Uh, at this point, he, he all he had left was Matthew, Landius, and Bozel. Bozel was frozen, so he wouldn't be able to act for an entire turn. Uh, Landius could probably do some damage, um, but he is also mounted, so he wouldn't actually be able to get anywhere. He wouldn't be able to reach the healer, uh, any of my casters in time. Uh, that just leaves Matthew, uh, who's already wounded. Um, so Matthew probably would definitely not would not be able to kill Sophia because of Shrine Maidens. Um, might be able to do something to um, to Rachel, but I don't think I don't even think Matthew has um, a Ragnarok, so it'll be a little bit of a trade off. And as and if if he ends up going after Rachel, I would have had uh, Freya pass turn in place, and then I would start healing him, uh, her again. And at that point, uh, there will be nothing they could do because I had a healer and a tank, and Freya would just whittle them down with just raw fixed damage and that's not even talking about angelina who's still at the bottom of the map and at full health so it's a it was a pretty neat match it was a bit of a a little bit of a hit and miss there so it is what it is i did lose two times prior to this um but overall wasn't uh my win percentage is gonna be what it is unfortunately um, but yeah, as I mentioned before, I went ahead and replaced Listelle with Yulia, so this is what my, my box is looking like right now. Um, it's going to change probably quite a bit once I get Licorice, because um, that's going to give me access to Dark Faction stuff. I probably want to try out Varna at that point, since Varna has some uh, attack uh, AoE attack buff stuff, so I won't be completely screwed when my faction buffers and my, and my uh, gossables are completely, you know, banned immediately um so yeah uh pretty good stuff uh as for my uh training i'm gonna be finishing up uh skeleton knights uh because i do like i mentioned before i might as you can see with the percentages here it's just so much better than what i have right now for infantry um so i want to go ahead and take advantage of that um it will obviously skeletons won't do shit to uh, holy units but they'll do they'll probably do just fine against Landius at the very least. Um, and with her ability to attack the um, the general directly, that would probably be enough to at least force a, a self-res. Uh, besides that, uh, do, 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 for some reason I have mail. I've been working on just a, uh, doing getting everyone their six, uh, their six uh, skill point. And I have just about everyone uh, done. The last one I just did was Anna, which was actually kind of difficult to do, because Anna, of course, is... I mean, what am I going to do with this for offense? Um, it was a bit rough, but essentially I have uh, Letitia, uh, Gerald and Layla, and Betty are the only characters that don't have a six uh, skill point at this point. And Gerald and Layla actually has a three-cost skill, but I heard it's not that great anymore. But I'll probably eventually pick it up, but... Um, 
come the next batch of new characters, which is Leticia and uh, Rena. The um, I will be getting four new four new uh, three cost skills. Um, I believe it's going to be obviously the two new characters, uh, Sakura and uh, Amelda, I believe. So that'll to give me a little bit more variety as well. Not that I, I don't think I'll be using either of them in a box though. Anyway. I think that's just about it. I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Langrisser Mobile Apex. Uh, see you guys next time.